Hey, what up guys? This is Dave, and in this video I just wanted to show off my new uh, graphics card. I just got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770 video card, uh, which is a big upgrade from my old video card, which was an AMD Radeon 6750. So, since my new video card is NVIDIA, it comes with uh, GeForce Experience software which I think is a hell of a lot better than the other AMD control center. Inside the GeForce Experience software you can optimize your video games for the best display settings for their video card which makes it a lot easier than having to go through it individually and tweak the settings in each of the games. But what I really wanted to show is the NVIDIA Shadow Play feature which, which is still in beta but it allows you to record your gameplay and either stream it to your Twitch channel or save it to your computer. So here's how to set it up. First you want to open up the NVIDIA GeForce Experience which should be in the bottom tray and then once that's open um, you want to make sure that your computer will work with the shadow play. So if you go to my rig it shows your computer information and then it'll show all the different options in shadow play Re mine shows ready and then it'll show the system requirements so if yours isn't ready you want to check and see which one you don't meet that you need to upgrade before you can capture your video games once that you know your computer will run shadow play you should see the shadow play button up in the top right when you click on it, it shows your current configuration for Shadow Play. This button will turn it on and off. Um, and then here it shows this, the current settings for Shadow Play that's set up. And then it has the four buttons, which allows you to, to ch configure the four options. Mode deals with how the Shadow Play will work. Um, and you have four options you can set. You can either broadcast to Twitch, which will require you to log in. You can switch to manual, which means you can, uh, it will only record when you hit Alt F9 to turn it on and then Alt F9 to turn it off. So if you want to manually set when you're, you're capturing gameplay, you can choose that. Shadow mode is where it's caching your gameplay or storing it temporarily. And then like at the end of your game or after a sweet kill, you can hit Alt F10 and it will record the previous 5 to 20 minutes of gameplay. The last option is Shadow and Manual, where you can do either or. So you can either do Alt F10 like at the end of the game, or if you want to manually set it in the middle of the game, you can do Alt F9. So that's usually the, the best mode to choose, unless you're sure you're not going to do one or the other. The next option is Shadow Time. This is related to the Shadow mode, and you can set how long the previous gameplay you want to record after when you hit F10. You can go anywhere from 1 minute all the way up to 20 minutes. And if you see, the size of the files change the longer it is. So this is 7.5 gigabytes. So the higher, the longer it is, obviously the bigger the file is. So just choose how long you want. I have mine set at 10 minutes. That seems like a good, good time. And there you go. The next option is quality. And this is relates to the size of the file as well. I have mine set at high. You can do low, medium, high, or you can customize your settings where you can change the resolution, the frame rate, and the bit rate. And changing the quality will also change the size of the file. Your last option is audio. This allows you to either do the in-game audio. You can also choose in-game audio and the microphone if you want to talk or like while you're broadcasting. Or if you don't want any audio at all um, and you're going to add it later, you can just turn that off. And these are the four options for your shadow play. Also, I wanted to check out the preferences. This is where you can choose um, if you're going to have a camera, where it's going to show up on screen and what size it is. Uh, you can choose wherever you want if you're going to use a camera or you can just turn it off. This will be good if you're going to broadcast to Twitch. You're, you can add your camera right in there. The status indicator is this little symbol down here that lets you know that Shadow Play is running, is set up, and uh, it'll spin 
when it's recording your gameplay and you can turn that off or change where you want it to show up and the keyboard shortcuts you can change what keyboard um, uh, keys you hit to do different options like save the recording turn it on and off turn broadcasting on and off turn the camera on and off and turn the microphone on and off the last option is where the recordings will be saved this is very important because as you can see the recordings can get very large and you want to make sure you put it on the hard drive that you have plenty of space once you have shadow play turned on and set up um, you can go ahead and load your game and start playing and then record your sweet gameplay so I have recorded some Titanfall uh, using shadow play and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with a few minutes of me playing Titanfall to show how well it works and how well my video card is um, so this has been Dave I hope you enjoyed my video if you did you can like and subscribe and I'll uh, catch you guys later